What? Oh my god, really? <laughs> so, when I was younger, of course I did. Of course, I'm not gonna lie. When we're in heaven, magkaalama na tako na. Na na ako magagawa. <laughs> ano pang iba? Wala na iba? Kwan eh. Hi everyone, it's Hart and welcome back to my channel. So on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, I asked you the craziest rumor that you've heard about me. I was pretty shocked. Uh, I tried not to look but I saw some but oh my god, today I'm going to be answering all of them one by one. So we are going to get real and dirty today. Alright, let's begin the first one. know why they said that I baked cookies for the first time it was the first time and I had a cookie cutter I mean a shaper I must admit the moment that somebody put the poop emoji as like oh my gosh oh, oh nga shocks so enough going comment sorry hindi ko na take kasi alam ko totoo <laughs> but I totally agree but my poop mm, the consistency it depends if I'm on a bone broth cleanse or it depends if I just had salad the whole day. It really depends. But I must say, amoy cherry. No, I'm just kidding. My poop smells like shit. <laughs> My poop smells like Chanel number five. <laughs> Oh my god, I was not pregnant before. I only got pregnant once and I had twins. Um, but I totally get it because there was a rumor about me before that I got pregnant. And then there was another bad rumor that came after that. How in the world would I be able to be, you know, surfing and ha going to Hawaii, taking photos in a bikini? I can't do that anymore because I just don't have that body anymore. But definitely no. If I had a baby, whether I was young or whatever, um, whether I was expecting or not, I always believe that a baby is a blessing. Yeah, so no way. No, I was never married before. I definitely thought about getting married a couple of times. Um, I did get a ring, um, but it was just a promise ring. Um, it was shaped as a heart, but like it was three diamonds cut to be shaped as a heart, like an illusion diamond. And I remember when I got my... <laughs> My engagement ring. It was a whole shaped diamond ring. And then I remember she says, mm, yan, eh? <laughs> I found that cute. It was funny. I'm not four feet tall. Grabe naman. I'm 5'2". Yeah, I'm 5'2". I'm not comfortable wearing flats because I just feel more powerful, diva. Right? And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna deny everybody, we all have our insecurities and we all wish that we had this or we were like this, we were like that. So I do sometimes when I'm not feeling right, I wear my nude peep toe shoes from Louboutin, the, the nude ones. That's why I have like so many of those. Um, but lately during the lockdown, I must admit that I've been going, you know, I've been wearing lower shoes. I've been, I don't know what happened to me, but I feel more comfortable with lower shoes. But lately, I'm back to this. But no, I'm 5'2". And um, yeah, I guess for people that wish they could be this or wish they... It's all about wearing clothes that you feel comfortable wearing. You'll be more confident. So yeah, that's what I do. I've mastered the art of looking 5'8 when I'm only 5'2". I could do another vlog for that, actually. Of course, we shared the same room. Means and means na ngalang kami magkasam, di pa kami magshare. Um, so the setup is now that he's governor, he is in Sorsogon four times a week. Before, during the lockdown, there were a lot of things that happened. Like there was a storm. There was a you know, just was very, very stressful. He was there for a month. Can you imagine? I was already scratching the walls. It's a self doubt na ako yung ganda ba ako ganyan ano ba to talagang deserving pa ako hindi ka kasi marunong magluto girl ganyan but um no that's his job although in the beginning i've always been the very sweet clingy malambing type of girl which sometimes can be irritating for some people he was never irritated with me but because he's such a busy guy and parang ang selfish ko naman that just because i want him beside me 
he has to ignore everybody na nakasalalay sa kanya. So I have learned to let go and I'm very very proud with what he does there and I totally get it. And now I'm actually glad that I have more time for myself to do my work because I'm also working and he's not the nagging type. So yeah, we're together like depends. Sometimes five days every two weeks or three days once a week. Okay, so when I was younger, of course I did. Of course, I'm not gonna lie. I used to think it was cool. And I tried it a couple of times because all my friends were smoking. But that was just a phase. Every time I'd ha go through a breakup, actually, I would yeah, smoke, smoke, choo, 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 choo. But when I got older, um, I think around 25, I started to become very paranoid about my health. Um, that's when I started to get a little bit anxiety or paranoid about anything health so i used to think every time na sa plane ako it's feeling ko mag crash lord ni na mo yosi lord ni ko to gago in hindi ko to sasabihin so laging ganun kasi feeling ko mikapalit i wasn't really a chain uh, chain smoker i would only do it when i was partying with friends or eh uh, mengganyan but yeah i stopped doing that it's, that's not nice and you smell horrible too and it makes you look old my grammar sucks. I'm fully aware of that. I don't know. I grew up in the States. I grew up in San Francisco. I'd rather have bad grammar than my pronunciation would be bad off. I think it's I think it's normal. I mean, it's not like a textbook. You don't live in a textbook. I get it that people have like, but not everybody is super textbook smart. I've never been textbook smart. So this is just how I am. And I'm actually happy that I don't have to follow so many rules. Dead money. Oh my god, I have to treat them extra nice because I am fully aware that I am their stepmom. Sakit naman ang stepmom. Tita. Tita heart. <laughs> In the beginning, I must admit, it was very, very hard for me to adjust because I'm the youngest. And again, I never really had total freedom in my life. And then finally, when I was, you know, married, I had all the freedom. But then, you know, I couldn't make out with my husband in, anywhere in the house because we had kids. And that was really, really hard for me because, I mean, it's not the hard to make out part. I'm saying it's just the setup was such an adjustment because I had to really mature. And I wasn't even thinking my age. I was so much more immature during those times. So it was really hard for me. To make. I would cry. We would be walking some mall and Shepherd twin. So yung isang kamay hawak, yung isa, yung isa hawak, yung isa. Ako taga bit bit ng paper bag sa likod. So ang sakat sakat ng ganito. Ito ba talaga yung gusto ko? Ganyan. But then, when you love other people, like even if you didn't give them the gift of life, but it feels so good because you don't really necessarily want anything in return. You just want to love them. You just want to guide them. And now I really love them as my own. Again, I didn't give them the gift of life. But I... Especially when I got pregnant, yeah, I'm emotional time. Um, I really felt differently towards them because I really felt ha that feeling of being the, the maternal feeling. I felt that, and I loved them even more. And I think they also loved me even more. It was a whole experience for the family when I got pregnant and when I lost the babies. I feel like we also got really, really closer. But I really love them so, so much. And we are fully aware that she's is a little bit older than all of us. So in the end, kami lang naman din yung magsasama sama. So yeah, I treasure them so much, and I'm very, very blessed that I have two angels here at home because I, it's really hard to keep, you know, a household. It's very hard, and they do help me a lot. Kino pa ko ang mga tubig, Chessie? Can you get my bag? Shut up. <laughs> what? Oh my God, really? Apparently. <laughs> Bakit Davao? Siguro Paris pa sana eh. Para ano siya. Nasa Vogue na siya. Shut up. No, I don't. I've never heard that before. But, you know, I love Panda. I call Panda Anak. If I had a baby, I would definitely take care of them. Oh my God, I would. I'd give them everything. Everything I had. I mean, everything I have, I would share. Or I'd even give them more. I'd probably even stop shopping for myself. Yeah, my sister, grabe, when she had a baby, she was not selfish anymore. I could borrow her clothes now. Shout out to Belle and Camille. Yes, I've heard this ghost painter thing. Totally untrue. And if I did hire a ghost painter, I'd tell them to paint better. Nandun na naman, binayaran mo na. De, todo na. But no, I don't. I really do love painting. In fact, I never really thought that it would become 
the way it is now that people would actually buy my paintings I never I painted for myself I painted because it was therapeutic for me and I was really going through a really tough time personally with my family and all of that finding myself also starting from scratch because my mom confiscated all my money so I needed to do something and that's why I painted but definitely no ghost painter I would feel so horrible I don't like living a lie because I'd rather be myself even on YouTube I'd rather you bash me for not understanding me than pretend to be something I'm not that's why before whenever I used to do soap operas I would be worried that whenever people would see you they'd cheer for you because they loved you as a character but they don't love you as you so I, I was very conflicted about that so I'd rather just be myself and have you know I mean I don't have such a huge fan base I was never really the type to have a huge fan base but I appreciate my fans because you know we relate to each other or we they know that I'm just being myself ever I just want to put that out there all the guys I've dated whether we're friends or not they were all really nice I was very I only had one person but consider that boyfriend chat <laughs> I don't consider him but he was really bad but the others um, they were all really really nice I was actually blessed that I had a good past I didn't have you know shady people I didn't bathe in milk. That was for an ad I did. And they it was actually milk that they put water. That's why it was really white, but then it wasn't like milk milk. It was the first ever I did. I remember Cleopatra, she would bathe in milk, but that's not my lifestyle. I don't even bathe with mineral water. Because I know some artistas that actually bathe in mineral water. Like during the setup, they would uh, during this, uh, had a changed location, and then a siya. She would ask for two, you know, the blue mineral nami ganon. She'd bathe in two mineral water big jugs, but no, I think that's too much. You know what? That's so weird that you actually said that, because there was somebody. Well, a few people said that there were dwarves in our house. Um, and I do believe that because. I remember before no bata ako, kala ko, in, binibigyan ko pa sila ng fruit, nilalagay ko pa yung mga barbies ko sa basement. I don't know why I did that. Now it freaks me out. But then I heard that, yun nga may mga duwende daw. Tapos parang pinapaalis daw kami dun sa ano. Pero yung totoong nangyari, may, nis, may nagsiga sa labas ng bahay namin. Medyo makulit sila sa namin. Huwag na magsiga. Nagsiga. So yung mga, what do you call that? Dust, yung ash went to the house and it's a log house destroyed within two hours or something so we basically lost all of our memories and stuff like that it was really really sad and this was sort of my childhood home yeah i mean before we lived on top of a restaurant it was called barrio fiesta provincial restaurant on pase road um the building is still there but then we moved to this carmona place and my dad loved it and we had so many memories but i just remembered feeling so so sad for my dad because you know he's the same with me he's very sentimental with his stuff he he was showering so telling all his watches all of his like his walk-in closet was so nice i remember he would have big perfume bottles like that it was really really nice but anyway he lost everything but he was able to save the dogs and that was really important for him so as long as he's fine it's fine <music> Actually, I think it's the other way around. I use it and then they usually tap me. So if I like something, that's when they come forward. But honestly, it's been such a struggle because of course, you know, at the end of the day, we all have our bills to pay. I'm also spending left and right sometimes. Shut up. There is this car that was asking me to endorse them and I don't drive. So how can I fake that? And I had to de decline it. And I think it was, it was pretty big. It was about 8 M. That was like aray, but then you know, I always stay true to myself and to whatever I endorse because again, I don't want to live the lie, and so that's why I turn a lot down actually because it's not not that I don't like it, I really like it, but it's just not something I use all the time. So, no, but uh, giving it away, I definitely give my stuff away, I definitely share everything because I get lots of like sponsors that send me boxes of lotion and ganyan or coffee or what. So, my language of love is giving, and I love sharing that with my staff. So, yeah, so you mga yaya ko lots of shopping sa Zalora. Nana na si Kina. Well, I must admit before, no, I was never really a I would always smile. That's why it frustrates me now that we're wearing a mask because I always like, 
I always smile. But if somebody saw me maybe one time, two times, I was probably having the worst day of my life because of my love life or I was just having major problems with my freedom. Um, uh, but I would never ever uh, make tarayan someone, especially if like he's a guard or a server or, you know, I cannot as in. In fact, for me, if I have a friend na hindi mabait sa waiter, yung hindi man lang mag-thank you, yung thank you, yung thank you, hindi ko appreciate yung mga taong ganun. Kasi for me, yun yung sukatan ko pag mabait ka, or kung okay ba to, ganyan, is how you treat the people around you, hindi ko kaya. I mean, as a boss, I have to have authority sometimes. But even that, I try to give the authority to rest, you know, because I find it so hard to make pagsabihan someone. So about being mataray and ano, oh, definitely I'm not. I'm really not. I do have my bad days, of course, everyone does, but 98% of the time, I have a smile on my face because I'm a very happy person. I'm very, very grateful. So yeah, and also I think the reason why people feel that they're intimidated because again, it's how you what you wear, you're wearing high heels, kanyan, I'm wearing, it's the fashion that can be intimidating at times. That's a normal reaction, but I'm, I'm really, really not, not the type. Yeah, actually. No, are you kidding? No, it's not. I think it's like an kind of American standard or something. I actually don't know what my toilet is, but it's definitely white. I definitely have a bidet, but no. I spend my stuff on things that I will use till I'm old or I use for my work. But if I can get away with being practical with most of the stuff so I can support myself with other things, I'm pretty smart about those those things, so definitely not. Yeah, but I, I do spend on some stuff. Like, I really saw this nice Louis Vuitton thermos. I mean, I'll save for it, but I'll definitely, I'm definitely practical on a lot of stuff. I didn't, ang kulit, I didn't nga. I didn't get it done. It's not that I have anything against plastic surgery. I'm for it, like I have friends that have done it and relatives and I'm super duper supportive. First, because I started really young in showbiz, so I'm so conscious about changing or altering my my image. And it's not, it's really, and I'm sure there's a scientific reason why my eyes look deep set. In fact, it just looks deep set, but I'm actually trying to make it not deep set. Because nga parang feeling ko mukha kong haggard. But you know, as you get older, it really does change. Your collagen, you have less baby fat on your face, your face is more contoured. Also, when you lose weight, that changes a lot. So yeah, there are a lot of ways to change the way you look by, yeah, I mean, age again is one and what you eat. Sodium is such a big, you know, difference. When you cut that out, you change sodium, make it Himalayan pink salt, the bloating's gone. But yeah, I, I really didn't. But I'm for it. Like, I don't mind when I'm older. I don't mind getting Botox when I'm older or I don't mind because I like my neck. I feel like it's the first to go. I don't mind changing a few things when I'm older. I hope I don't scar because I scar bad. Um, but yeah, I'm really for it, but I just didn't have anything done. Yeah, there's a fake it till you make it with some things, but like some things that are pretty major, I hate lying. No double eyelid surgery. Bakit pa double eyelid? Hindi talaga. Actually, hindi. I don't know the, I don't know the scientific explanation. Do you, Justin, what's the scientific explanation? You lose facial fats when you grow old. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, but hindi ko alam kung paano ko iproprove. Pero yun na nga. I said this in my other vlog, I think. When we're in heaven, magkaalaman na takong lahat. Yeah, you know, ko ginunong ko sa isa kong vlog. And I just shade. I do the Bella Hadid contouring. Ganyan. Hindi naman talaga yan. Hindi. Hindi talaga. Na na ako magagawa. <laughs> ano pang iba? Wala na iba? Paan eh? I haven't heard anything. Wala na iba? Wala na mas mahirap? Gold digger. I would never marry anyone for money. Of course, you know, having somebody that's made in life and, you know, you feel secure that someone's gonna take care of you. I'm not gonna deny that. And it's also nice to be with somebody that, you know, is masipag in life. Kesa naman, I remember feeling with someone that parang I felt that nako dadalhin ko to. Which okay lang naman din, nadalhin mo. Pero minsan ang bigat. Yung parang walang diska sariling diskarte. It's hard, eh. and ako pa naman, I'm such a go-getter in life. I mean, I, I like to work hard. I want something. I have a goal. I work hard to attain that goal. And I want to be with somebody that also inspires me, and I can do the same. But it's really hard to be with somebody na ang bigat, daydreamer lang na ano. No, you want to be with somebody that's inspiring. And if I had a daughter, I would say the same. 
you want to be with somebody that's masipag, na aalagaan ka. But definitely, I would not marry for money. Because like, I'll be miserable. I'm, you know, I'm like a love plant. I like to feel loved. I like to be in love for me in order to survive in this crazy world. If I'm miserable and my husband is the type that's rich and then demanding, you can't do this, you can't do that, kasi binubuhay ka niya. Oh my God, sa'yo na lahat yan, no? Saksak mo sa bagay, yung Birkin na yan. Alam mo yun, I cannot. I'm super woman power. In fact, I feel so bad when I know people that they have everything in life because, you know, they're they're with somebody that's really, really well off. But but not, I mean, I mean, I don't have close friends. My friends are very happy and they're very blessed. But, you know, I've, I've heard of a lot of other women that, you know, have no choice but to stay, which is very, very sad. And I, I don't want to be in that situation. I don't, I don't wish that for any person to be in that situation that you feel helpless in the situation because you have nowhere to go. I really don't. So if you are in that situation, dear, just be confident. Basta nasa tama ka, kapag umalis ka na sa bahay na yan, na manipulative na mayaman, nako, you will achieve more in life because you will have all the freedom. You have your life and that's the biggest wealth that you could start with first and then everything else will come. I really don't agree with people that marry and then manipulative, tapos bawal ganito, bawal ka na magtrabaho, may mga ganun eh. Tapos aasa ka, hingi ka ng allowance kanyan. Kung may allowance ka, yun lang naman din. Pero kung may work ka, even better. So don't ever be with anybody that controls you. So such a big turn off. You have to have a backbone, girl. Although I'm very, very careful with my body. To be honest with you, I am because, again, I'm 5'2". This is my business. This is my job. I'm pressured also. I'm not gonna deny that. But for me to not want a baby because of that, parang it's a no. Parang hindi naman ganun kagrabe. In fact, the moment, that was my fear before, but the moment that I was pregnant, parang wino-welcome mo siya. So I know, I know that it's really not my issue. I'm just more scared of the epidural, ganyan, yung mga ganyan. Mas scared ako. Babawi ka naman. Breastfeeding ha, makes you lose weight, di ba? So, hindi, hindi. That's if kung nabubuntis ako, yung tagal kung hindi nabubuntis. Ano ba to? Just ko. Malapit na. After the pandemic, mag-option C na ako. Nag-B na ako eh. C. C na tayo. Wait lang kayo dyan. Mag-option C na ako after ng pandemic. Bigyan lang natin to ng chance. Kasi nga, pag dumadating si Cheese, tapos na yung week na fertile ako. Nakakainis. You know, it's not easy to get pregnant, ha? You have only w few days. Yeah. The window is like three, five days. Five days, medyo ganun na nga yun eh. Three days max. Pag, eh, pag nagkabagyo, nandun si Cheese. Oh, selfish ba ako? Oh, eh, pag nandun siya, magdo-drive siya ng nine hours para nandito siya the next day sa window na pwede ka mabuntis. Wala talaga, hindi talaga, mahirap talaga ang sitwasyon. So, after the pandemic, guys, intay na kayo. And stop asking if I'm buntis because I'm not. And stop asking na may baby bump. Bonchon nga lang yan, sinabi ko na, na parami na ng kain, but I'm not pregnant. Sometimes it makes me sad, but I've actually accepted because I'm just very grateful with life and it will come the right time. Got it? Okay. Okay, so that's it. I had so much fun. I don't mind doing this. In fact, if you have anything else that you want to ask me, I love doing my assumptions video. I just love being real and getting real and talking about issues that you don't really talk about. Even if I know after this, showbiz tabloids are going to pick it up and dissect it and make it look different, which sucks because it's not how it is. But um, I love just being real and talking to you and just being myself. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So that's it. And if there's anything else, again, that you want me to do on my channel, because I mean, I don't have any ideas, but we just want to keep it real, comment down below. And if we resonate with your comment, let's do it. This has been Heart. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.